Good morning, everybody. It is opening day in Florida here in Zone D. I'm hoping to get on it, but uh, we haven't had as many trail cam picks since this cold front has came through. It's October 22nd, and uh, we're just now starting to get bucks back on the trail cam, but they're all showing up at night now. We had them in the daytime. So we're trying to get a figure it out. I'm gonna go to a spot where we didn't check our trail cams and sit, and then I'm gonna check on these two trail cams when we get down. But uh, hopefully we get something moving. And if it's brown, it's down today. It is open a day of archery season. And we were able to take a doe. We were able to take two does during archery season. Um, and that counts against your five deer in Florida. Or you can do five, five bucks, three bucks, two does, or five bucks. But uh, if a buck comes by, I, I hope, I hope it comes in range. Uh, it has to have four, at least four points on one side where I'm hunting in this area. And they've done this the past few years, and I've seen the deer growth, and I've seen a lot more giant bucks lately. So. Uh, Fingers crossed, hopefully one slips by this morning. I got my buddy Justin's gonna be hunting down past me a little bit. And uh, he's gonna be riding in the truck with me. And hopefully I can put him on a deer. He hasn't shot a deer in a long time. And uh, he's taking a jump to wake up or get just two hours of sleep to get over here and hunt with me. So uh, I can hopefully I can get him on a deer. And, uh, We'll see what happens. He's only hunting in the morning time this morning. I am hunting all day and we'll get up with Danny around lunchtime and regroup if we don't see nothing this morning. But fingers crossed that we do and we'll let an arrow fly. We'll see you in the tree stand. All right, so I took Justin to his truck, ate some lunch with Danny, got a game plan together. Round two, day one, opening day. Maybe we can get a deer down. If it's brown, it's down today, this weekend. So hopefully a buck comes by, but if a nice doe does, it's gonna be an unlucky doe. See if we can uh, get some on camera for you guys. It's 9 08. Hopefully, they start moving real soon. If not, I'm gonna get down to 11 and figure something out. But it's just, uh, I'm just not seeing anything. And I just, it's hard to believe they're not walking this, on this creeks in here with all these oaks and all these acorns dropping. 
me have them on camera. I just think this uh, open weekend has got them all screwed up with all this truck traffic and all these hunter hunter pressure got them all screwed up. So we'll see. Might get lucky. this camera got it I thought I hit record but I might not have got it but I just shot a doe she was like 23 yards uphill it looks like a high lung shot she didn't go with 30 yards and crashed and I hear her kicking around and gasping I think she's done now but we got a doe opening weekend yes yes man I wish this would have got me shooting because I was hanging like way over here just hanging off the weird side. I could have waited for her, but it just was, I had more shooting lanes on that side. So I took advantage of it. Oh my goodness. Hell, now I gotta get it with Danny. Danny don't wanna get down till 11. It's like 9.30, 9.33, so 30 minutes after I just did my last interview, she came through. Just one lonely doe. I just got down real quick. It looks like my arrow did not pass through. So I'm gonna see if I can find my arrow. And some blood. I found my arrow. I'm gonna look for some blood. I hit her like right here. Oh, looks like I got good blood. Hit her here, and there's my setup. Only two sticks high. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find her because I got an hour before Danny gets down and see if I can locate her. She was right over here and see she went down. I think she's dead, but we're about to find out. I couldn't seem to find a blood trail. At all. I might get some blood up here though. There's some blood right there. Because there she is right there. Better than a bullet. Yeah, it was a high lung shot. She didn't go not even 30 yards. smaller than I thought but still a good doe about all right guys there she is my doe thank you girl that killed Bambi
What's up, everybody? I'm back at it. I'm in the exact same tree I just shot that doe from this morning. And uh, we've had some big bucks come through here on camera. I checked the camera when I got down with that doe yesterday morning. A big buck. So we'll be back in this tree tomorrow morning. Just going to leave all my gear in this tree. Um, maybe something will slip by tonight. There's a lot of hogs in the area, too. So maybe we can do some hog control. But, uh... Well, we'll see. Danny's got high hopes for this spot, so I trust Danny. He's been hunting way longer than I have. Just had two does come in on me. I probably could have shot one of them, but Danny probably would have got mad if we had to do drag two does out here in one day. So uh, uh, they blew at me. They figured me out. And I just let them come in. I was trying to record, and they caught the camera movement. Maybe that won't scare a buck away. We still got plenty of time. It's only uh, two thirty. Plenty of time.
I know for one thing, today started off <laughs> not as planned, and uh, was action ended up being really action packed, especially this evening. I just I think I need to be a little bit higher up, a little bit more cover, so I'm gonna bring a an extra step and see if uh, that helps. I think it will. So then if that buck comes back, I won't get busted next time. So I hope someone learns a lesson, or learns from this lesson, because I just learned a big lesson, is deer are very unpredictable, and if they're coming to a side that you don't think you can make the shot, I would wait to get set up, because they might change direction. And that's what screwed me, if I would've just held my bow and waited, because I brought it to this side because he was coming straight up. And then he just happened to stop and turn and go right behind me. And I waited until he's behind this tree and there's a bush to make my move. But he literally caught the last second of my shift. My And it screwed me. That's so all I had to do was wait right here. And as soon as he stepped out, I, I had him. So I'm going to have nightmares tonight. I know that. He might come back tomorrow. Lesson learned. But man, this is what this is what I do it for. This is awesome. Adrenaline's rushing. The past two hours was very eventful. And uh it's the end of a good day. So I might just end this video here so it's not a million years long for you guys. And start a new one up tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys.